Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. According to The Athletic, Manchester United pull out of Marco Anortovic move. Recently, Manchester United had a 7.5 million bid rejected for Marco Anortovic. Marko Anortovic plays for Bologna. Uh, Anortovic has had experience of playing in the Premier League because before he played for Stoke City and West Ham. So that's the news on him. Yesterday... I gave you the news on Adrian Rabiot. It said that Man United are working on signing Adrian Rabiot from Juventus. Um, it said Man United agreed a 15 million fee for Rabiot. Uh, Man United, by the way, have been in direct talks. Adrian Rabiot is at Juventus. He's got a year left on his contract. Juventus got him on a free transfer from PSG. Before, Adrian Rabiot had two loan spells with Toulouse. Uh, Man United throughout the course of this summer have been heavily linked with Frankie de Jong. Um, we've also been linked with Anthony from Ajax. Uh, Man United are actually confident of making more signings before transfer deadline. Uh, so far this summer, Manchester United have made three signings. Manchester United signed Terrell Malassia from Feyenoord. Got him for around £13 million. Terrell Malassi signed a contract with Man United until 2026 as an option of a further 12 months. Uh, Terrell Malassi recently came on and made his Premier League debut in Man United's 2-1 home defeat to Brighton. Uh, Man United also signed Christine Eriksen on a free transfer. Christine Eriksen signed a three-year contract with Man United. Ericsson recently made his Premier League debut against Brighton. Um, he weren't that good in the first half against Brighton, but he was better in the second half because he moved into a deeper role. And Man United also signed Lissandro Martinez from Ajax in a deal worth £57 million. Uh, Martinez signed a contract with Man United until... 2027 there's an option of a further 12 months Martinez recently made his Premier League debut against Brighton weren't that competitive on his Premier League debut he did actually receive a yellow card in the game uh, let me put in the equation that Manchester United have let players go this year. Uh, recently, Alex Tellez joined Sevilla on loan when there's no buy option. I knew Tellez was on his way out um, as soon as Man United signed Terrell Malassia from Feyenoord. Uh, we loaned Dean Henderson out to Nottingham Forest. Uh, Lee Grant left earlier on this year. Uh, Jesse Lingard left Manchester United on a free transfer. Lingard joined Nottingham Forest. Uh, Matic left, he went to Roma, so obviously now he's reuniting with Mourinho. Uh, we let Pob Paul Pogba go on a free for the second time. Uh, Pogba made a return to Juventus. 
Uh, Juan Mata also left Manchester United on a three transfer. Uh, Cavani also left on a three. Uh, Manchester United sold Andres Pereira to Fulham for around ten million. And Man United have let quite a few young players go. So there you go. And certainly more players are on their way out of the club. Uh, Ronaldo could still be leaving Manchester United. Uh, Ronaldo didn't start Man United's defeat to Brighton at Old Trafford, but he did come on in the game. Revert back to Man United's final pre-season friendly. Uh, Ronaldo left before the end of the friendly. So that stirred suggestions up. Not so long ago it said that Ronaldo wanted his Man United contract ripped up so he could leave on a free transfer. Uh, to be honest with you, Ronaldo missed the vast majority of Man United's pre-season friendlies due to family reasons. Not so long ago, Ronaldo held talks with Galatasaray. A number of clubs have been in for him. Uh, do you think Manchester United could still sell Martial? Uh, Martial missed the game against Brighton due to injury. Um, to his credit though, Martial did well throughout pre-season, scored quite a few goals. Don't forget last season, Martial was out on loan with Sevilla. Uh, Fred and Lindelof could be leaving next year. Uh, do you think McTominay could be on his way out of the club? Because he's very poor. Uh, McTominay was poor against Brighton recently. Uh, Jones, he's definitely on his way out of the club. I think Bai's on his way out of the club as well. I think Maguire could be leaving next year. I think Dallo and Anwan Basaka are on the way out of the club. Uh, Brandon Williams, he's also on his way out of the club as well. Don't forget last season he was out on loan with Norwich. So there you go. Um, obviously Eric Ten Hag's reign as manager got off to an awful start as obviously Man United lost 2-1 to Brian at Old Trafford um, I'm not going to prejudge Eric Ten Hag after just one game you know I've still got faith in Ten Hag I think he can make Manchester United competitive again you know he just needs the time you know Ten Hag this is the first time he's managing in the Premier League. And like I've said on my recent videos, the Premier League is totally contrast to the Dutch League. But you've got to give Ten Hag credit for what he did when he was at Ajax. Because when he was at Ajax, he won Eredivisie titles, he won Dutch Cups. And revert back to 2019, he got Ajax to the Champions League semi-finals. Ten Hag was the Ajax manager for around five years. Ten Hag is the former Utrecht, Bayern Munich reserves and go ahead Eagles manager. You know, Ten Hag is Man United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. Ten Hag's got a contract with the club until 2025. There's an option of a further 12 months.
Um, obviously, we've got Benny McCarthy at Man United. Uh, we've got Richard Arnold and John Murtagh. Richard Arnold is Man United's CEO, he plays Woodward. Um, John Murtagh is Man United's director of football. I said we needed to get a director of football in because I did mention that's one of the structural changes we needed at the club. Um, obviously, we've still got the Glazers at Manchester United. You know, the Glazers have owned Manchester United for around 17 years. They bought the club for £500 million back in 2005. Uh, the Glazers have been one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time. For a while, the vast majority of Man United fans were protesting against the Glazers. Um, obviously, we've got Mitchell van der Gag and Steve McLaren at the club. You know, they're working alongside Ten Hag. You know, Eric Ten Hag was the one that recommended them in. So there you go. You know, five managers have left since Sir Alex Ferguson. Um, obviously, we had Moyes after Ferguson. He got sacked after 10 months. After Moyes, we had Louis van Gaal. We sacked him after like two years. Man United won the FA Cup under him. After Louis van Gaal, Man United had Jose Mourinho. We sacked Jose Mourinho after two and a half years. Mourinho did enjoy one good season at Man United because he won three trophies in his first season. After Mourinho, United had Solskjaer. Man United sacked Solskjaer in November last year. Solskjaer was the Man United manager for almost three years. And after Solskjaer, Manchester United had Ralph Rangnick. You know, Ralph Rangnick left Man United earlier on this year. Now we've obviously got Ten Hag, so there you go. You know... We've got to accept that no one is going to replicate what Sir Alex Ferguson did at the club. You know, Ferguson is the greatest manager of all time. He brought success to Man United. He won 30-odd trophies, including 13 Premier League titles. But Ferguson didn't settle in straight away because he didn't win out in his first four years at United. Uh, Ferguson was a long-serving manager at Man United. He was the Man United manager for around 27 years. Alex Ferguson retired almost 10 years ago now. So there you go. Um, in the last 10 years or so, Man United have spent over £1 billion. Pounds. So now, guys, uh, it's either tomorrow or Thursday. The preview for the Brentford game will be coming up. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel if you do. Consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.